Okay, continuing our coverage of fortifications and the different types, we're going to focus now on barricades. Barricades are a very specific type of fortification that's going to block a road hex and block different lines of sight. And it is very similar to a wall, but it does have some exceptions to it. Got an example laid out here. And you can see looking at the barricade counter itself that it looks similar to a bunker in that it has an arrow pointing at its direction. Well, that arrow points to the hex side that is being blocked by the barricade itself. So it's this hex side right here that the barricade is actually applied to. Obviously, since there's a barricade here, vehicles and mounted units would not be able to take and cross this barricade. It's going to block off their modes of travel across it. One of the differences though when it comes to barricades is that they can actually be attacked and they're going to be treated as if they're an armor vehicle with an armor factor of two. So an ordnance uh, fire table weapon that has a penetration value greater than one, so two or higher, can take and destroy a barricade. So our Sherman tank here obviously has a penetration value greater than two. It could take and destroy this barricade by firing onto it. Barricades can also be attacked in a close assault. So these infantry units could take and close assault the barricade itself, and they would not be required to take and perform a morale check to take an attempt to uh, do the close assault. And uh, again, the barricade would be treated as if it had an armor factor of two when it came to the close assault attack. Barricades, obviously, they're going to take and block line of sight. So this barricade here would block a line of sight in between the uh, German units located here and the American units located here. So any line of sight being traced across or along this hex side is where the line of sight is going to be blocked. Now, like I said earlier, it does have a target modifier similar to a bunker you can see located in the bottom right, but you're going to treat that target modifier like it's a wall. So anything that a wall is not going to defend against, like certain types of indirect fire, a barricade is not going to defend against either for units located in that hex. It also has a special rule when it comes to the rally modifier that can be applied to units that are in a positive target modifier hex that it's going to apply depending on where enemy units are located. So if a unit is shaken like this one here and it attempts to make a rally attempt, they will get the negative two rally modifier only if all enemy fire is being traced across that barricade hex side to uh, effectively protect them. In this case, all of the American units would trace their line of sight across that barricade, so that shaken German unit would get the rally bonus if they attempted to rally, but if our American unit were moved up north, their line of sight would be traced differently and not across that hex side, so the German unit would no longer get the rally bonus in that situation. 